In this video, we're going to look at how we can use carbon to extract metals from their oxides using reduction. The way metals are extracted depends on their reactivity, and we'll need to look at the reactivity series. This is a list of metals in order of decreasing reactivity. So the most reactive are at the top, and the least reactive are at the bottom. We also include carbon and hydrogen on the list, because where metals are relative to carbon and hydrogen determines how the metal will be extracted and whether or not it will react with acid. Some of the most unreactive metals, for example gold, silver and platinum, are found in their pure form in the ground, so they're not found as compounds. We call these native metals and they don't need to be extracted. Most metals are found as ores. Ores are just rocks that contain enough of a metal compound, such as a metal oxide, like copper oxide, to be worth extracting. After we purify the metal oxide that's found in the ore, we need to displace the metal so that we can obtain the pure metal on its own. We use displacement reactions to do this. Displacement reactions are when a more reactive element kicks out a less reactive element and takes its place. If a metal is less reactive than carbon, carbon is able to displace it from its oxide. So we can extract copper from copper oxide using carbon. If we react these two together, because carbon is more reactive than copper, carbon is able to displace copper from copper oxide. The two products of this reaction would be pure copper and carbon dioxide. We can do this for any of the other metals that are less reactive than carbon. This process is known as reduction using carbon. It's called reduction because while oxidation is the gain of oxygen, Reduction is the loss of oxygen, and that copper oxide has lost oxygen because it's been taken by the carbon. This process only works for metals that are less reactive than carbon. Metals that are more reactive than carbon can't be displaced from their oxide by carbon, so we have to use electrolysis to extract those instead. Here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. Pause the video now and have a go at them. An ore is just a rock that contains large amounts of metal compounds. Ores contain compounds such as metal oxides, for example copper oxide. Carbon is able to displace metals from their compounds if the metal is less reactive than carbon. This process is known as a reduction reaction. Metals that can be extracted using carbon are those that are less reactive than carbon, so zinc, iron, tin, lead and copper would all be able to be extracted using carbon. We wouldn't use it for silver, gold and platinum. That's because the native metals don't need to be extracted because they don't form compounds in the ground. Carbon cannot be used to extract metals that are more reactive than carbon. These metals must be extracted using electrolysis instead. Metals that can't be extracted using carbon include those that are more reactive, such as potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium or aluminium. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video has been helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.